Yeah, hi, my name's Mark, and I was just doing some uh, research here on Google, and I came across your website. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I really think your site has some potential. So I thought I'd just make you a really short video and give you some pointers on how you can get your site to the top of Google. Now, don't worry, this isn't some sort of a sales pitch. I'm just going to give you some really good information to show you um, how you can get your site to the top. Now, let me show you something. This is one of your top competitors right there in your area. And they're already on the first page of Google and getting a lot of business from it. Um, you don't have to take my word for it. Being on the first page of Google comes with some huge benefits. Take a look at this pie chart provided by Google. Now, most people already know that getting on the first page of Google is going to get them more calls, but check this out. Do you see the area here in the blue? That says that over 42% of all the clicks on the first page goes to the top spot. And we're not talking about the paid advertisements, but we're talking about the top organic spot. This uh, red piece here shows about 12% going to the second spot, and the third spot only gets about 8.5%. And as you can see, it really starts to drop off from there. So... Just being on the first page is not enough. You really need to dominate that first page. Now, I also took a minute to pull up some of the best keywords for you, and I don't know if you know this already, but this is the number one mistake that most business owners make. They don't spend enough time doing proper keyword research. If you look here at the keywords I found for you, you're going to notice two things. Number one, these are local keywords targeting your type of business, but the main thing is they're buyer keywords. It's very important to target keywords that are searched by people looking to buy your product or service, not just do research. I mean, the internet's full of people looking for information, but what's really going to make a difference in how successful you're going to be is targeting buyers. Now, I have this free tool on my website that will give you a better idea of just how much uh, work your site really needs from an SEO standpoint. It's a website grader, okay? Now, you can go check this out for yourself. What it does is create a three-page report with all the errors that it finds on your site. If you want to read all the errors I found on your site, you can go run the report. It's free. Just go ahead and type your website address. But um, go to my website. It's vop1.com forward slash website grader. Now, there's a lot of information on this first page that you're looking at here, but the main thing I want you to, to, to look at here is your score. Uh, the site issues a score that ranges from zero all the way up to 100. The better your site's set up, the higher that score is going to be. And as you can see, uh, your score definitely has some room for improvement. Okay. Now, my report also will tell you the number of backlinks to your site. I, I can see that you, you can definitely use more backlinks. Without going into too much boring details, Google looks at backlinks like a referral to your business. You want lots of those, okay? The more sites that send a back or a link back to your site, the higher that you're going to show up on Google. Again, there's a lot of other information on this report. Just if you you know have a minute, go over there and check it out. Run a report, and you can see all the different uh, errors and things that's missing on your site. Um, now, last, I want to talk a little bit about marketing and conversions. Now, obviously, it's extremely important to get visitors to your site, but when they get to your site, you need to consider how many conversions you get from those visitors. I mean, basically, how many of those visitors either fill out a form or pick up the phone and call you? Now, there are plenty of tools like Google Analytics that will track these things, but I did notice a few problems with your site that you really ought to address. Okay, Here's an example of one of the sites. This is one of my websites that I created for one of my clients. Now, as you can see, it's a very basic site. It's not very fancy, but this is what we want. You don't want a lot of distraction from what's important, which is to get them to call you or fill out your contact form. Now, as you can see here, right on the top, I have my customer's phone number and a call to action. People don't have to search around for the, for the information that they came for on one of my sites because the information they came for is clearly visible. Okay. Now, next, take a look over here to the right. Do you see that request a quote form? This is key. Okay, you need one of these on every single page on your website. Why? 
Well, because you never know what page your clients are going to land on. So if you have that on every page, that they don't have to click around looking for what they came for. Okay? Now, also, make sure all the information, this information that I just talked about is above the fold, as you see here, which means you, nobody has to scroll down to see what they're looking for. That way, when they land on your site, it's right there in their face. All right? So just as a quick recap, you really need three things to get your site on top. Number one is good keywords. Okay? Number two, with good keywords, you need well-written content that uses those keywords. Now, we're not talking about overusing those keywords. A good ratio is between 2 to 4%. If you put... If you stuff your keywords in there, that's not good either because Google will take off points for that. They're just thinking you're trying to trick their system. Number three is you want to get lots of relevant backlinks. Okay, The best links come from sites that are about the same things your site's about or are in your city or your state. Okay, uh, And last, but certainly not least, you need a high converting website that forces clients to take action that you want them to take. All right? Well, I hope I was able to give you some good information today. I know it's a lot to soak in. SEO can be a bit overwhelming sometimes, but very rewarding. So feel free to give me a call if you ever need some help or any questions. I'm glad to help. Here's my contact information. Again, I look forward to talking to you. Thanks a lot.